Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video, and welcome back to the world of Equestria War. That's right, we're back with ponies. My friends, before we actually begin this video, I just want to say that I thank each and every one of you who likes, who comments, who subscribes on all of my videos, especially for the people who are extremely persistent in commenting about nations it is that I should play and what it is that I should do. And there's an individual that I have seen here, and I know I have made a mental note of it for how many times it is that they have said that I need to go and I need to do a certain path in this game for Equestria War, and John Ja Clever handle you have put 64 comments on 64 videos begging me to do the path of lord protector in the Griffonian empire and so my friend that is exactly what i'm going to do at one point i actually contemplated waiting until that number got to 69 which would have been nice but also making you do that too long would have probably been mean so my friend thank you very much and thank you to all of you who comment on my videos but yes okay that means that we are going into here into Griffonia, and we are supposed to play as the Griffonian empire something that seems to closely resemble the hre and with a dying emperor is something that is going to be getting extremely unstable, especially considering what it is that I'm seeing from the comments on all these times that you suggested this video in the first place. Oh god, I've attempted this. It's effing bloody. Yeet the child. but yeet the child. What do you mean child? Well, either way, the Griffonian Empire, once stretching across most of the continent, it has long been known as the sick bird of Griffonia. Revolution and corruption took hold of the empire in its vast lands, breaking it apart one by one, and today the empire is left with nothing but a fraction of its territory, filled with dissatisfied nobles and commoners, and the current emperor, Grover V, is is not expected to have long left until death comes and claims his life. With his only heir to the throne being underage, the Empire is soon to face crisis once more. Will the Empire survive this new age? Well, probably not. Or will internal conflict shatter it once and for all? Or perhaps the former glory of the Empire can be restored. Well, my friends, let's dive into it then. Now, my friends, before we get into the rest of today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Thorum, and it's something that I definitely want to talk to you all about because it's very unique in comparison to a lot of the things that I've done on this channel. To all of those who are watching, and I know that the majority of those who watch on this channel are men, we all have that extra special person that is out there just waiting for us. But one of the things that is a problem within the modern wedding industry, if you could say that, is that the overwhelming majority of it is specifically designed around around women. There isn't really anything that is for men. And that, my friends, is where something awesome like Thorum comes in, because this is a company that makes products and accessories that are designed around men. And check this out. This is one of my favorite examples. This right here, this is the Mediasaur ring that they sent me. Which, if you're catching that name, Mediasaur, that is because this is made of literal meteorite and also dinosaur bones. And we're not talking about some little fossilized fish from 50 million years ago. No, there's actual T-Rex bone inside of this thing. And in addition to this beautiful ring, I also have the Redwood Watch, which California Redwood is something that has a distinctive and interesting grain pattern. It is something that is truly minimalist, it is beautiful, it is powerful, it's something that I just genuinely appreciate walking around and looking good myself, in a way that I genuinely haven't for many years. If anyone knew me back in college, I was the t-shirt guy with the lanyard. Not the best. But in addition to being beautiful, every single ring comes with a lifetime warranty. This is something that whether it is lost, whether it is stolen, eaten by a dog, whatever, it is something that has a warranty. The company offers great customer service, it is based out of the US, and every ring is going to ship within one business day with free shipping even internationally. I genuinely do love the product, and it's something that my wife really does appreciate when it is that I wear it, and I think that every man out there deserves to have something nice for themselves, even if the majority of the world doesn't really see it that way right now. So my friends, if you are interested in getting something nice for yourself and also supporting the channel, then go to thorum.com and make sure to use my custom coupon code STAKUI when you order anything. I hope that if you have not already, that you do eventually find that special someone. And without further ado, back to the show. So from the very beginning, you can see here with the Griffonian Empire, when we launch into it, is that everything around us that is marked in orange, these are all our puppets, even though we actually only control this proper part of the empire, though Griffonia will almost always end up breaking apart, it seems, when everything falls apart after the emperor's death. Our research speed is being horribly affected by bloated bureaucracy and everything else, and also we are pretty weak on the economy side from what I can see. Still, we need to get some basic construction going, and then after that, of course, we have to go and make sure that we have some good industry set. It'll take absolutely forever to do anything, which is really unfortunate, but hopefully soon we can start preparing for some real fun then. With 15 divisions from the very beginning, that's actually a fairly decent sized army. Let's go ahead and put them all into the capital here and see what it is that I can do focus wise. The, the answer is nothing. I, I can't do anything until the emperor actually goes and dies. 
Okay, well, that's fun. Since this path is supposed to be pretty bloody, let's go ahead and get some army units cranked out here because I have a feeling we're gonna need as many as possible if things really get bad. A train trip. Despite his deteriorating health, the Emperor has decided to embark upon a trip across Hersland via train in order to showcase the Imperial Railway. Ah, yes, what's the worst that could happen? Just a nice train ride. Well, with 150 political power saved up here since it's been a month and I'm still not able to actually do anything, I guess I might as well go and get down to partial mobilization just to help myself industrial-wise because it's not like I can really do much else in this situation. Oh my god, I am being horribly affected by so many things. All right, that's not, it's not pleasant. At least from the get-go, we have a fairly decent industry, though, uh, oh god, uh, I say that, and now, uh, the emperor is sick and is dying. Okay, well, yep, glad we spent that political power, because that's now gone. And so is my stability. The emperor is dead. Unfortunately, after nearly a month of treatments and therapy, ranging from the latest scientific medicine to holy anointments by priests, zebra potions, and other exotic magical mystery cures, Emperor Grover V, of his name, was embraced by the claws of Boreas at the age of 47. Well, only 47. Wow, he was sick. His caretaker said his last words were, Boreas, did I do good? Um, pro pro probably not considering what's about to happen to everything. Okay, well, the Emperor is dead. That finally unlocks a focus. And hey, look, the, the, the little Emperor Grover the Sixth is now kind of in charge, except we have a council, a regency. Well, let's see. I guess that means we get to choose between the Council of Three and the Old Guard. Well, I guess uh, it doesn't really matter what we do, so council of three and yeah i'm glad i spent that political power because now i can do quite literally nothing so that that's fun bronze hill sends us a gift hey in the wake of the emperor's death our vassals in bronze hill presented us with a truly beautiful gift it is part of a diamond dog culture that in the event of a death the dogs close to the deceased will gather gemstones known as flower gems and sculpt them into a memorial oh that's nice or i could literally just sell it <laughs> Uh, hmm, it's only minus 4%. So, I mean, do we really, do we really want to do that? Maybe. It's only for, what, 180 days? Nah, nah, we'll send our thanks. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. All right, there's the Council of Three, and that means the next step after this, I'm told to do the Dyklein Subrung. The Empire is more unstable now than ever before. The Emperor's death has raised even greater concerns for us, specifically in the army. Many officers have become disloyal and treacherous, something that we cannot accept and tolerate if the Empire is to survive. We must purge all disloyal personnel at once, no matter the price. Oh, my God, that is going to hurt me. Okay, well, let's do it. The Archon takes the stand. Hey, there we go. More stability. At least some. Oh, my God, I'm incredibly unstable. The Barrack Revolt. Ferdinand Donclaw. Oh, wait, hold on. Isn't this the guy that I was supposed to monitor? Do this as Lord Protector Ferdinand Donclaw. Yes, of the Grafonian Empire. Take the focus, Dyklein Sobrong, and allow the soldiers to storm the palace. Um, huh. Ferdinand Donclaw sat in his office, located in one of the innumerable military bases that dotted the capital of the Grafonian Empire. Ferdinand considered himself a patriot, and in a sense, that was true. He did love the Empire in his own strange way, and it was precisely because of that love that he had to rebel. In his mind, the Empire simply couldn't survive without a radical change in the status quo. Could an already weakened Empire survive with a mere child in charge, with the nobles circling around him like vultures? No. Something had to be done. Ferdinand knew that his chances of success were slim, and that he would likely go down in history as just another nameless traitor to the Empire, a fool whose futile rebellion was quickly crushed. Reports started to trickle in. His forces were converging on the Imperial Palace, and soon they would face the Palace Guard in direct combat. He could do nothing but wait and hope that his soldiers could match the ferocity of the hardened defenders that they now faced. The next few minutes would decide the fate of the entire empire and by extension, the course of history itself. Okay, either crush or no, no, they, uh, I guess we have to say that they stormed the palace, which is going to hurt my stability even more. Okay, well, that's fun. And with the storming of the palace, Ferdinand Donclaw now takes over everything, and he declares himself to be the Lord Protector, which hurts us even more. He is a supremacist dictator and warmongerer. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, we kind of knew that was coming then. Look at this guy. He looks like what would happen if Draco Malfoy was turned into a bird. Let's hope to God I didn't make a horrible mistake. Ferdinand Donclaw stood before the entrance of the Child Emperor's room. The bullet-ridden corpses of the fanatically loyal Diamond Dog guards still sat where they fell. He knew what he had to do, the terrible act that would be commit to secure his power. The Emperor had no real authority. He was merely a figurehead, a pawn to be used by the various political factions that infested the rotting corpse of the once great empire. Oh no, oh no, I think I know what's coming. The child had to be removed from the picture if the empire was to survive, and yet he found himself unable to open the door. Something deep in the back of his mind prevented him from doing so. Would this unforgivable act be really worth it? Oh no, committing such an act would surely anger the entire empire. Even the gods themselves would despise him for his actions. Was saving the empire truly worth it? Would it be worth the weight of such an evil act? He struggled with himself for minutes, and with each second that passed by, he felt the noose was tightening around his neck. Finally, after what seemed like hours to the self-declared ruler of the Empire, he made up his mind. As he opened the door, 
A small part of him silently prayed for forgiveness. A larger part salivated at the thought of the power that he would soon possess. The act was relatively quick, and Ferdinand soon emerged from the Emperor's room. Part of the Lord Protector that had sought forgiveness was gone, and only the all-consuming desire for more power remained. This world is too cruel for children. Oh no, <laughs> you are a heartless monster, it said. Oh, ah. Uh. Okay, that explains the whole yeets the child aspect of this then. Unforeseen consequences. Uh, yeah, go go figure. The rest of the empire is very unhappy that uh, we we yeeted the child emperor, and now is very quickly trying to break apart. Yeah, they're all they're all now independent. That's nice. And so, with the completion of the grand coup, that means that we now have a brand new focus tree. From what it is that I can see, everything down through the center seems to be about solidifying our power base before ultimately going after and trying to reunify the empire. Over here is our economy, and then we have things for some naval aspects for our army as well as our air force. Okay, so that means the grand coup has succeeded and everything is on fire. The reaction to Ferdinand's coup has been slightly more enthusiastic than expected. That is to say, there's a crowd outside of headquarters, and they seem to be very eager to get their claws on Ferdinand, or more specifically, around his neck. Yes, indeed. Rifles at the ready. With the city growing more chaotic by the day, many thought that the days of the military junta were numbered. It seemed as if the mobs demanding the head of Ferdinand on a pike grew larger every day, and with the knightly orders and the remnants of the emperor's personal guard still lurking in the city, Griffenheim more resembled a powder keg next to a lit torch than an actual city. The few infantry units that were loyal to Ferdinand and his government left in Griffenheim now face a daunting task, managing the mobs with the meager supplies that they have left until reinforcements from the countryside arrived to relieve them. Every single bullet and bayonet was rationed, with some patrols being forced to leave without ammunition in their guns and relying on intimidation instead to do all the fighting for them. The odds of survival seem slim for Ferdinand and his young junta, and only a stroke of luck will allow them to survive the coming storm. We just have to keep calm, everybody, okay? Just, just calm down. It's fine. It's just a little bit of murder and anarchy. It's, it's fine. Panic in the war room. Well, from what I can see here, we have absolutely no understanding of what it is that we are going to be trying to do, but a plan has been made, and now we have to follow through with it. Please send help. Okay, our plan is to basically beg for help. Yep, that makes a, that makes a ton of sense. The battle for Griffenheim. Ever since the coup was executed and the emperor, well, <laughs> executed, you know how it works, the capital of Griffenheim has been engulfed in utter anarchy. Roving bands of rioters supported by the remains of the royal guard patrolled the streets of the city, and soldiers loyal to the new government frequently clashed with these bands. It was not unusual for several patrols to simply disappear over the course of a day, their broken bodies eventually being found in some dark alleyway, <laughs> stripped of all weapons and equipment. As the days went on, the soldiers of the coup were gradually gradually whittled away, but after 67 days had passed, the promised help arrived, and we sent tanks into the city and started blowing everybody up. Yeah, no, literally, Panzers on the streets. We're gonna start blowing people up. Yep, gangs are literally taking over the city, and we are sending in tanks and blowing them up, which in turn just killed 10,000 people. Okay, well... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Followed by, um, okay. And it seems that the, uh, the bloodshed is not exactly going to end here as we're about to start purging the population of dissidents. All right, the day of the rope. As reinforcements from the countryside pour to Griffenheim, whatever thoughts of rebellion remain within the minds of the citizens are crushed, which is a good thing. But Ferdinand apparently is not pleased by the outcome because he still knows that people hate him. And so the very next day, the difference between martial law and regular law within the empire ceased to exist. The military would oversee every part of the legal and judicial system. It would act as judge, jury, and executioner, and would deal out any punishment it deemed necessary, regardless of the scope of the crime. Needless to say, the number of hangings increased drastically that same day, and the citizens of Griffenheim receiving a grim reminder of the ultimate fate that awaited all traitors. And that just ended 50,000 people within the capital. Okay, then. Next up on here, purging the knights and sending them to their gods. Ah, you know, if I'm going to try to take over the world by first eradicating my military, I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that they're thinking this plan out very well. All right, time to, uh, Purge the military, then. The army purged, with the army now firmly under the control of the Reigerung de Nachelin Ritting. The time has come to separate the wheat from the chaff, as they say. The process itself was fairly simple, as each soldier was asked his opinion of the new government, and those who answered disapprovingly, or had family members or close friends who did the same, were quickly singled out. They were then walked into the firing line and shot, and their bodies pushed into a mass grave, and said grave was then filled with cement. Okay, yeah, that, uh, some may suggest that our methods were crude and inefficient. It still worked, as we just wiped out a large sections of the military. Great. Now it's time to finish off the commanders then. Oh, and would you look at that? A question breaks out into a civil war. Okay, well, that could help me here in the future, potentially, depending upon what we want to do. And with the news for the commanders, it seems to be exactly what the name implies, where we are now executing all the varying different military officials who disagreed with us. I, I have no military staff now. This is like Stalin's purge on, on steroids. Well, with all that done, it's now time to retire Eros. Because apparently in this focus tree, I tried to assassinate him, but that failed, and so we're just going to uh, forcefully retire him then. 
Eros being one of the, I think, one of the political advisors of the previous emperor, if I recall correctly, but I don't quite remember. Either way, we're, we're going to end him. Archon no more. With Eros surviving the previous attempt on his life, his popularity and influence only increased. The government made several new plans to deal with him, one more complex and detailed than the last. Poison food, explosives, another sniper that failed. Pretty much every possible option was considered, and while these plans were discussed, Eros continued to spread his message. The problem had progressed to the point that a revolution by his supporters seemed inevitable, and the eighth delay of the assassination proved to be the last straw for Ferdinand. So he grabbed his revolver and a squadron of his personal guard and drove off in his car. He arrived at the Archon's house and proceeded to kick the door in, and then he and his soldiers meticulously killed every single occupant of the house until Eros himself was located. Ferdinand was the one who took the final shot, and it is said that it was one of the few moments in his life where he had smiled. At the end of the day, the Archon was dealt with, and Ferdinand learned that direct methods often surpassed complex ones, provided they were executed with finesse and skill. Oh my god. God, what is even going on right now? Uh, okay, if I look dead inside, it is not because I am playing this game. It's because I just spent the last six hours completely clearing out my entire kitchen, living room, and everything else because a pipe burst in my house and flooded everything. And now we had we have we have a demo team coming out to completely destroy my downstairs floor. That's fun. Like this video if you two are dead inside. Well, might as well wipe out all the nobles. No more nobles. The nobility of the empire has always been allowed more freedom of expression than the common folk, naturally. With the incredible amount of power that they wielded necessitating such concessions from the previous governments. Once the new government took over, though, they simply assumed that they would be able to get away with it, as they always had. They constantly petitioned Ferdinand himself with requests of old rights and petty disputes. Some even demanded the creation of a noble council to advise the new government on the proper way of controlling the state. Unfortunately for the nobles, Ferdinand was not a griffin known for his leniency to those who annoy him. So he announced the creation of the Noble Council and asked every prominent noble within his territory to come to one of the towers of the Imperial Palace to discuss the powers of this council. However, when they arrived at the tower, the only thing they found was a bullet to the back of the head and a quick descent downwards from the window of the tower. Needless to say, the nobles weren't a problem anymore. They didn't fly so good. Oh my. And with that, long live the Lord Protector. And that brings us to the end of anarchy, which means that now we can educate the people to actually fix our illiteracy issue and start, it looks like, fixing the economy somewhat, maybe. Hmm. Yes, I can't do modern industrial methods. That's actually going to be something that really does help me. But it looks like I can't devote myself all the way here because I won't actually have control of all those territories. That comes later. But it looks like some of these focuses are locked behind the ability to actually control some territories, which looks like that. Uh, oh, oh my God. I'm going to declare on war on everyone simultaneously. Are you kidding me? Every single state around me, I'm going to declare war on at the same time. Game, why would you do this to me? Well, first things first educate the people. We need to go ahead and fix that issue so we can get ahead at least a little bit technologically, I think. And I'm going to need to recruit as many soldiers in here as I possibly can. Actually, the more that we can get up here stability-wise, the better it's going to be for us, because we need to be able to produce as much as we possibly can. Next up on here, the war economy, which is actually going to make it so that I'm only allowed to have war economy. You know, I, if it's the sacrifice that we must make, then so be it. Sabotage. Whoa! Hey, hold on! Don't tell me that the other people around me are going to sabotage me. That is bullshit. Well, while we have the time, we might as well improve working conditions, and hopefully, hopefully from that, we'll be actually be able to support ourselves. Unfortunately, it seems the next step after this is to convert the factories, which is going to remove three of my civvies and give me three mills, which, you know, I, is somewhat nice, I guess, for being able to produce stuff, but simultaneously, that's really going to hurt. But immediately after that, we get three more mills, so that's a total of six. Honestly, at that point, it's probably worth it. We're going to need to make the guns that are necessary to take back our land, I guess. War against illiteracy. Beautiful. That's going to help us out with our technology. And we're going to need to go up a conscription level. More ponies to the front, or griffins. Yeah, griffins. I will use your feathery bodies as shields. And everything for the fatherland. The citizens of the empire will have to sacrifice much for the state. Longer hours with lower pay will have to be tolerated, and unemployment will be eradicated amongst the working population. They will work as long as we command them to. Anything less would be treason. <laughs> I've literally destroyed my entire civilian industry just for the sake of this. All right. It's okay. Now we have the military factories. I suppose next up after that is to probably boost ourselves stability-wise. Yeah, that might be needed in order to be able to help us here. So I produce more out of the factories that I actually have. We are going to need a lot of that. So let's get some propaganda going. Would you stop for freaking sabotaging me? Let's see. Once that is done, I suppose the next step after that is to reform the Reich's army because we need to actually boost our... Uh, yeah, we're running out of manpower here. All right, we're going to need that. And let's see. Now that I have the Reich's army, that means I technically speaking, would be able to go over here down the expansion plan, which will allow me to recruit more soldiers, but I don't, I don't think that I need that quite yet. It might actually be a smarter idea for me to go down this path and get a research slot, so actually, maybe I should have done that way earlier. Hmm. 
Shit, actually, I probably should have done that earlier so that I could have conserved my civilian factories. Well, live and learn. Comet cited, are you kidding me? Why the EU4 event? Damn it. And with the railway done, that means the Griffonian standard. That's going to give me three. Oh, wait, a 300% research bonus for industry. That's massive. Okay. As it stands, I'm already working on industry right now, which means I can get really far ahead. And on top of that, we have beaten illiteracy. Okay. Things are, things are kind of looking up here, I think. The big question at this point is, am I waiting too long? I don't know if I actually am here in order to be able to go and declare war on anybody. I hope to God I'm not, but there's really not much I can do here in this scenario. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. Whoa, no, 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 no. I was not prepared for that at all. Strawberry Dutchie, you bastard. There was no warning. There was no anything. You just automatically declared war on me. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a problem. That's not what I like to see at all. All right, we're going to have to very quickly rush in here, try to take as many of the supply points or hold the supply points as we can, because otherwise this is going to be a bit of a problem. Actually, it looks like they're already having difficulty holding. If we can push in through here. But oh, shoot, I am also out of oil. Okay, ready to buy some of that and also steal a whole bunch of civilian trains. There we go. Go ahead and move in as quick as we can. Go and surround them. And that's a bunch on this side that are now surrounded. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get that done. In fact, I'm out of oil, but how many are we against here? Oh, wait, hold on. We actually outnumber them. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I can deal with that then. There we go. There's a couple divisions surrounded. They're now wiped, and we can try and spread out through this line. Where is their supply point? There's literally nothing over here. Okay, it has to be this spot. There we go. There's a couple more surrounded. Beautiful, beautiful. We've made it across the river, and now we should be able to just push in from here. And there we go. We have our research slots now. We are unfortunately at war, which means we need to go ahead and start pushing down here. And yes, yeah, seriously, need some more manpower. Okay, new officers then. Then wiped over here. Come on, come on. We have a breakaway. If we can just kind of push over on this side, then they won't actually be able to hold us. Beautiful. That, oh wait, no, they're not actually wiped. Okay, well, I thought that I wiped them. How many have I actually killed off here at this point? 50, okay, no, we should just be able to push. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just push to the side. Just push to the side. Yes, we got several of them trapped. We can hold. Yes, beautiful. Okay, that's a whole bunch of these guys trapped on this side. That means we can officially wipe them out here. Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. Oh, I forgot. They they have access. They would have, for whatever reason, they have mill access, which means I can't actually do anything there. Okay, well, we are going to have to, at this point, probably uh, slacking. Yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and get rid of the, one of these guys. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we need we need the pony power. We, we got to do that to occupy this land. And I'm still out of it. All right, well, no place for cowards then. Honestly, at this point, I should just be able to push. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. There's the capital down. Now we just sweep across through here and then up through the north. Beautiful. Wait, justification of war goals. No, Angrivir Commune. No, no. Where are you? Who are you? Where are you? <laughs> no, 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 buddy. No, I, I, I don't like that. And okay, finally, the Strawberry Dutchie falls. <laughs> oh, that actually cut, hurt for quite a bit there. But, all right, we've taken that. That is one thing done. Excellent. And I still don't have the, uh... The, the pony power to be able to hold this here. Okay, well, we're gonna need to do something a little bit unorthodox. Actually, no, there's only 24 days until we take that over, so we're fine. We're fine for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split my forces up here and try and hold the line and hope to God that someone else doesn't decide to invade me. Ooh, wait, I can prospect for oil. Yes, yes, I absolutely need that. Okay, okay, okay. With that, I can merge the police and the army, and after that, we should actually be able to get some pony power in here. Yeah, it's proving to be a little bit of a... Oh my God, that is a massive wall of text. Okay, hold on, let me read this here for a second. Okay, so from what what I gather in here, there are some changelings that are deciding since we have the whole attache that comes from the changeling lands as to whether or not to go back to continue the fight since I guess, if, are they even at war over here? No, I don't think they, they are. Um, okay. They get to decide whether or not they want to go back in order to be able to fight against the ponies. Uh, but no, I, I want them. Let them stay. Because, huh, funnily enough, I might actually be in a position where I can go ahead and declare war on everyone around me, but that still is pretty risky. I need to build up my military forces and maintain control of what I have. So, I think that means going down here and actually modernizing our system. So let's get that done. Reich's army expansion. Okay, now that we actually have a decent surplus of pony power, I think it's finally time that we start expanding the army a little bit, because that's, I mean, we're gonna need as much manpower in here as we possibly can. There's no way in hell I can hold this long, spindly border. Feth see an operative capture. No, 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 no. I don't want any spies to be coming in here. All right, we we are rapidly mobilizing our population. We're up to 5% currently. That's about to get much higher because it's base 6 plus an additional 5, I think, here. Okay. In short, we're going to have a lot of men in the field, but I do not need to do this just yet. First, we need to continue to support and build our military, and also, I'm realizing at this point, I could have actually upgraded my tanks, and I have not actually done that yet here. That's a problem. Oh my god, this is what I was using the entire time? Really? A <laughs> 3 
three pony turret with just it. Wait, no, that had an improved small cannon on it. How? That is so strong for relatively speaking for what it could be. God, no wonder I was actually able to win in the beginning. And the Great War breaks out between the Changelings and, uh, well, basically everyone else over there on that side. Let's see, March 1011. How close are we to actually producing all of these units in here? Mm, somewhat close, but it's still actually going to take us a while here. I may even want to sacrifice the north here in order to be able to push south. So I don't think we're quite ready for this yet. Almost, almost, but maybe just a little bit longer here. Instead, ooh, ooh, supply consumption reduction. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. I guess one of the real questions is, before we actually go and attack anyone, do we go with superior firepower or for uh, ma mobile warfare? Considering we are the Griffins and we actually get insane bonuses to tanks, mobile warfare is quite strong. Hmm. You know what? Sure, let's do it. Let's go with mobile warfare. It's a little bit risky, but we'll try it. You know what? I think we're, uh, I think we're ready. Operation Hershmersh. Hershmersh. Hermermermermer. The former vassals of the Emperor boldly declared their independence and condemned the coup. They will soon regret their foolish loyalty to the old order. Our glorious Lord Protector shall lead our armies to utterly crush these rebels and once more reunite Hersland under one banner. We may be outnumbered, but the mighty Reich's arm cannot be beaten with mere numbers. That is right. That's right. We have some insane quality behind us. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, hold up. What is going down here? Is this a war? The Angevin commune, are they attacking? I think they're attacking down here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, they are. Yes, yes, weaken, weaken each other, please. Because wait, Imperial County of Bronze Hill, you're justifying on me. Why are you justifying on me? Rufus Loudbark, what are you doing? Well, okay, I'm realizing, actually, technically speaking, I don't, um, I don't control as much of this territory as I thought I did, which actually could prove to be a little bit of a problem for me here, is if I declare war on literally everyone around me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, maybe, maybe I should actually prepare another round of this. I, I actually might have screwed up in here. Let's see. In fact, okay, here, here's the idea. Here's the new plan. Here's the new plan that we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and consolidate all of these troops into one side. Uh, we are going to go ahead and build. Now we're going to consolidate even more. Uh, we are going to basically build a giant wall around our settlement, and we are going to fuck off from everything else. Yes, that is my master plan. I'm close by to 20. I need to get that to 20% here. As soon as I have that to 20%, that means, hopefully, on this side, I'll be able to actually build up some military forces to uh, protect me. Because I'm going to need to consolidate and hold this position as much as possible because I'm going to lose most of the north. All right, there's 20. I'm going to focus all of these troops over on this side because even though they are newbies, uh, I can still probably do a decent amount of damage to my tanks in order to hold this spot over here. All right, and here goes the war. Let's go. They're going to attack me literally all around me. I need to hold out for as much as I can all around and hope to God that we can actually hold, hold this. Because we, my friends, we are going to crush the Southerners. That's the goal. If I can just hold out in these spots here for as long as possible, if we can consolidate in the South, then that means that we'll actually be able to take things over. All right, we just need to hold. Hold for as long as possible, please. There we go. Take their forts, move in through the South. That's fine. That's exactly what we want. All right, after crushing the Southerners, we can move on here to agricultural aid since that's the focus, and we need to get ourselves a little bit more pony power within everything. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. They're starting to push in some areas. That's not... That's not what I want. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem for me. All right, come on, just break on through, break on through, break on through. We can surround a couple of their divisions that'll hold them out here in the south. I don't like that they broke through here, but as soon as we can do that, beautiful. That means that we can smash away some of their divisions. We smash some of their divisions, and that's going to stop them from being able to be a threat to me on this side, because less divisions, I hope. Okay, service by requirement. Everyone needs to get in here now. In fact, I probably should have done that way earlier so I could build up a bigger force, but I didn't do it. All right, it's sacrifice. Okay, there we go. Those are surrounded and wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We can just move in here a little bit, wipe those out. But now there's a whole other threat that we'd have to deal with on the side. Fun, fun. Are they attacking me anywhere? Yep, okay, they are, they are. That's not great for me. Please protect the line. I do not appreciate this. I need you to hold as long as you possibly can, I'm begging you. All right, agricultural aid, that's done. And okay, no, I can't, I can't move on further than this. Is there anything else I can do to please save myself anything? Infantry, no, that gives me trucks. Okay, this will give me planes. This this all we could do. Rebuild the Air Force. Because <laughs> that's what we need to use our industry for right now. There's the capital of Katarinaburg. If we can make our way over to Strath, I think that we'll actually be able to take this. We're starting to break past all of the defenses, though I need to continuously upgrade my tanks because I'm losing so freaking Oh uh, wait, I also have lost most of my resources. Fun! Oh boy. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's not good. That's not good at all. They are actually pushing me. They are pushing me on the side. Yeah, that is not good at all. We are actually losing over there. 
All right, let's try and reform our line a little bit here. Come on, just just fix yourself. It's okay, it's okay. Just retreat back, just retreat back. It's okay, we will eventually take all of this. There's two of those divisions destroyed. How about these? Let's move on, move on. If we can hold the line over here. All right, they stopped attacking me elsewhere. That's fine. It's fine. We just need to build up our forces as much as possible and claim the south so that we can do things. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just steadily moving south. This is actually sucks. I'm sure this is riveting gameplay of me slowly making my way through all of this crap. Oh, whoa, okay, no, 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 they're actually being consolidated down here. Hold up, we need to do as much of the damage down here as possible. The more that we can wipe out here, the better it is for us. No, 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 stop pushing on me. Okay, that's, that's not good, that's not good. Please, I just reformed this crap. Okay, nope, they are, they are attacking me on all sides here. That is simply lovely. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for doing this to me. And by that, I mean, screw you. At least we finally managed to get someone up to the level of an infantry specialist, so at least I can get something in here. That will provide me at least some bonuses to my attack and defense across the board. All right, all right, all right, all right. At least there's one small little breakthrough. We're kind of holding everywhere else, so that's fine. What about here? Can I attack? Can I attack this spot, please? Please, please, for the love of God, let me break through already. Let me break through. I just want to end this. Just let me end this part of the fight. I'm begging you. Come on. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We are right here. We are right here, buddies. We are right here. You have them surrounded. I'm begging you. Just, just finish them off. Just finish them off. That's all you need to do is finish them off. Okay. That's not good. They are actually pushing me pretty hard off of this stuff. That's, that's actually really, 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 really not good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hold, keep on holding, keep on holding, keep on holding. Flip, flip, flip it. There we go. No, oh crap. No, they actually pushed through this part. No, 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 Cannot have that. Come on. There we go. At least allow me to redistribute my forces here this way. That's fine. There we go. Come on, keep on pushing through. Keep on pushing through. Just let me take this last spot. I'm begging you. Come on. Yes. Okay. All right. That is, that is the Cataran Principality, which gave me literally nothing from all that. Are you kidding me? Well, that is about all that I can currently do here. And oh my Lord, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Oh my god, no, wait, wait, we managed to surround them this way. Quick, push on through, push on through, push on through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This completely surprised them. They did not expect any of this. Yes, yes, surround their divisions. <laughs> this is so stupid. The peace deal completely screwed them. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. That's all you need to do. I don't even need to wipe all these guys out. But if I do take these, I don't think that they're going to get mill access. I don't think that they would. That is a good four divisions that I now don't have to fight immediately white. No, oh, five, five divisions. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Send them racing. Send them racing in through the back. Don't let them slow down. Yeah. Oh, no, damn it. Come on, come on. Yes, they're not working together. We can fight. We can fight. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good at all up here in the north. In fact, I lose this. This could be a little bit of a problem. It's a Lowenstein contract. Modern tank designers, give me, please, please give me three divisions of panzers. I'm begging you. I just need you to hold as long as possible. Why are you falling? No, don't let them. Don't let them. Come on. Cover your butts. You're already losing so much territory down here. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Come on. Keep on holding. Keep on holding. We're not actually able to push down here, it seems. But we did manage to take back our land here in the north. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wait. Hold on. They don't have the divisions to hold. Buddy, just push. Just push. If we can go through. Go through. Come on. Take their capital. Take all this territory. Nice. Pour in through the gap. They won't actually be able to stop us. As soon as this happens, that means I'll be able to divert my forces along to the side, and we can take out as much as we want. There we go. Okay. And Angiver, er, and, and, and Grivier, whatever, the commune is done. Go ahead and seize all that, and then quickly, we're going to need to reform on this as rapidly as possible. There we go, just surround them. We get a couple of their key divisions surrounded, and then that just means that we can waltz in here after. Okay, oh, shh. Shoot, no, that's not actually really bad. That's really bad. Okay, all right, here's what we are going to do. We are going to reset ourselves, withdraw Max just a little bit further. It is fine. We are going to do so in order to try and consolidate our line. We got four additional units that'll help us hold the line at least a little bit. And on top of that, we can then use everything else in order to try and invade. Wait, are they still pushing me? How? How are you still pushing me over here? Oh God, I do not have enough strength in these divisions to be able to hold, do I? All right, there we go. Just push, just push, just push. Just keep on pushing. I don't even care anymore. Just send them in. Oh boy. God damn. I have burned through so much of my manpower here. I don't even have the ability to produce anything right now. Okay. I probably, probably should not have done that. All right, there we go. That is the capital taken down here in the south. And are they pushing? No, they're not attacking anywhere else. All right. We finally managed to build at least a semi-good defensive line up here in the top. All right, there we go. Push our way down to Yale. And okay, the Yaleish rectorate is done. Okay. That is actually a 
good amount of forces that we have now taken out at this point. Uh, like, out of the fight. That is a huge amount, actually. With that done, hopefully I... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Why? Why do you all do this to me? Oh, my Lord. That is a lot of units that are pushed down here in the south. Okay, that's... Why? Oh, my God. Am I out? Am I out of manpower? I'm out of manpower. How am I out of manpower? How the hell am I out of manpower? How? <laughs> What is this I'm doing? I'm so... No, I was doing so well. No, 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 no. Please, for the love of God, let me core you already. Let me... Let me core this territory. I just... I need to core this territory so that I can get... Why do you do this to me? Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not good. That's not good. Hey! Whoa! Okay, never mind. That's actually really good. Yep, we have baited them into the country, and in doing so, it allows us to wipe out a good, like, 11 divisions. Okay. That is actually huge. That means they won't be able to launch another strike on us here for a while, even as I... It's okay. I had to delete some units there for a bit. But uh, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Wipe out more of their divisions. Yes! They won't be able to threaten us here in the north. Wonderful! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let them push against me. Let them push against me. If we just let them push against us a little bit, we'll then be able to surround them, I think. Yes, I am sacrificing all my population. Do I care? Nope. No, I don't. Because with that, that means even more of their divisions trapped. Though, once again, I am out of, of manpower. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay, no, I still actually don't have... I still don't have the manpower. This is not good. This is not good at all. All right, we're gonna need to start trying to build up our, our, our thing for integration. There, there really is not much else that I can do except hopefully, hopefully hold the line here. I'm gonna have to go up to all adults serve at this rate. I can't afford much else. I just need to hold the line here for as long as possible before I push. I don't want to do it, but I need to. I need to. I'm literally running out of so much manpower. It's hurting my production so badly. I can't. I'm sacrificing everyone in my goddamn country. With every single adult in the military, that means now I should actually be able to push. I hope to God that means I can actually push. Here, just go. Just go forward. Come on. If we can take Romal. Ro Romal. Ro Romal. We push in the Northern Territory, and if we hold all down here... No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just take it. Did we take it? We took it! Oh, no. No, their capital moved. Damn it. There we go. Okay, that's all those pushed. Excellent. We just need to try to hold here all along this line here as much as possible. Keep on going. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just push in, push in, push in. Keep on holding. Yes! Okay. Surround them. Destroy them. Yes! Okay, that's the Iron Arcanite. Oh, God. I am, I am shaking right now, guys. I am. We are We are going to cleanse this world. We are going to cleanse everything. That is a huge swath of forces that just immediately get knocked out. As soon as they're knocked out, that means I should be able to rush forward here, I think. How many enemies am I dealing with? Am I am outnumbered? No, I'm not. I'm actually almost equal in numbers now at this point. Okay. There we go. We are holding. We are holding. It is fine. All right, there we go. There's Yale down there. Once again, we've kind of freed it up here as soon as we can take these out. I don't think that they're attacking us on this side. Beautiful. Let's wipe them out. Let's wipe them out. Keep on going. Wait, am I out of tanks? Oh my god, I'm out of tanks. Okay, I've been producing those the entire time, and I didn't realize I was burning through all of them. There we go. There's Oldwingberg down. We got that caught. Now we can move on over here to Nort Form. If we can just try and move in through and take this out as fast as possible, we can wipe out one of the enemies in one fell swoop, and that actually should reduce them down to over half. They actually have the biggest amount of divisions next to the Imperial County of Bronze Hill. All right, the dogs. The damn dogs. But I think that should be it. Yes, there we go. Griffenheim, done. One fell swoop that knocks out all of these forces. Which means for the first time in this entire conflict, I finally, I finally outnumber my enemy. Set all these over to integration, and as we build this up, eventually, eventually, I should be able to go and take over these territory and actually make them my core. There we go. Let's push. Let's push. Let's go. Come on. We now outnumber them. Let's go ahead and overwhelm them. Sheer numbers and bullshit. I know that I'm going to be sacrificing basically all of my people, but you know what? I say that it's worth it. I say that it's worth it. Let's do it. I'm on all adult serve. So as they just keep on joining the military and churning out their deaths, we're just replacing them. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. All right. Come on, we zoom in, take the north. And with a place of higher learning, that means we either can use the Fethsian Cadet School or use the University of Ramal. Wait, hold on. Dude, does this change anything? Army experience gain plus 0.5. Military leader call. Oh, that is actually pretty nice. But land doctrine, whereas this gives me more research, more political power, and stability, actually. You know what? I will take Ramal. Yes, we'll actually go ahead and boost ourselves with learning. All right, I think that I'm actually burning through a little bit of my manpower over on the side a little bit too quick for my taste. I don't mind some, but this is getting a little bit excessive. And that is the Grand Duchy of Fethesia. With them done, that means that we are almost done. We have almost achieved completion. I said I was going to save this empire. 
damn it, I can't believe it's actually working. I have been doing this for like the past four hours at this point of constant grind. They're going to try and counter. They're going to try and push. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Potentially, potentially we could just throw ourselves over here into Bronze Hill. They won't actually be able to see us. At this point, we have over double their forces. I don't think we even need to wait. I don't think we even need to. I think we just go. I think we can overwhelm them with sheer numbers and bullshit. My friends, we've succeeded. We have finally, finally done it. Yes, and now that we are winning, now that we are winning, we can get the spoils of war. The traitors of the South renounced any rights they might have had the very second that they rebelled from the Empire. And as we have vanquished these traitors, it's only right that their property is put to proper use, which is just going to allow us to steal all these goods so that even though, though we don't have them as cores, we're still going to be able to get the resources. Lovely. With the fall of Bronze Hill, that means that we are right here. We are about to finish, and they fall. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. My friends, we've done it. We have secured Grafonia. The Empire is made whole whole once more ah uh, my friends we have done it now, at this point, I uh, I don't think I need to be on all adult serve, but uh, I can't I can't exactly do anything at this point here because I don't have the political power to actually change that. All right, next up in our plans since we've done this is to burn the forest. Uh, the vast forests of the south have prevented the construction development of the region for far too long. This has to change, so we need to get rid of the forest quickly and efficiently. And an elegant solution has been proposed that we simply burn it down. Okay, don't know how to argue with that logic, I guess. Well, at least we can start now going down on uh, on our manpower requirements because Lord knows the all adult serve that was uh that was absolutely murdering our entire uh, production values here. Next step is to expel the dogs. The dogs simply cannot stop talking about the late emperor, and this has grown to a problem too large to ignore. They can whine about his death all they want outside the empire, as they have proven they cannot be trusted to serve as loyal citizens. I am literally erratic. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, oh. Oh, wait, I'm getting cores on everything now. Hey, 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 Okay, hold up. If I'm getting cores, that means we can start cranking out army units then. And with the completion of Wunderwaffen, my friends, the... R I, uh, hmm. Under his excellent leadership of our beloved Lord Protector Ferdinand, the Empire has reclaimed its heartland, but this is not the end of our ambitions. Soon the entire world shall be reminded of the Empire's might once and for all. Adds not yet lost, which grants division recovery rate plus 5%, war support plus 10%, and justify war goal time minus 25%. All right, justifying. Who is just really Grafonia? Now, why would you do that right as I just managed to build a really powerful force? The Reich rises after a period of utter chaos and bloodshed, followed by total war. Herzland has once been united, once again, been united under the Imperial banner. However, Lord Protector Ferdinand Donkla has made it very clear he has no intention of stopping until the lands of the Empire are reclaimed and the former vassals, which he called despicable traitors, are crushed. He also warned the enemies of the Empire, such as the River Coalition, that they would pay a bloody price for arrogantly resisting the Empire in the past. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Gains Annex War Goal against House of Avian, Blackrock, House Eerie. Oh, this is to unite all of the Griffins. It is, oh my god, it's like uniting the German people. We're uniting the Griffins into the land of the traitor, gain the annex war goal against the Griffonian Republic. Okay, Sk yeah, all right, all right. We're going to the land of the traitors. We're going to secure the north first before anything, before they can potentially justify a war goal against us. The Helquillian request. Uh, <laughs> sure, we'll guarantee them. Why not? Gr oh, Oh, Grafonia. Now, why why would you do that? Why would you do that? No, seriously, why would you do that? That makes very little sense. I've been literally producing all this the entire time. I now have overwhelming superiority, so um, we're, ju we're just gonna push. No, 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 no. Oh my God, that's the entire enemy to the south. Okay, that's why you did that. Okay, well, no, no, no. What we're going to have to do is basically abandon the entire front line. Uh, we we cannot actually hold that, so we're going to push back as far as we possibly can, and hopefully, yeah, we're just going to let them basically take the north. Okay, if we can just hold at the river line, then maybe, 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 maybe we'll actually be able to do this, because this is, this is some brutal shit right here, I'll tell you that much. Still, as long as we can hold them onto the side here, they're actually not going to have any kind of real logistics, so maybe we can burst through in little attacks and just be able to go down here and push. If we can do that, we can start wiping out their units piece by piece before I subsequently immediately run out of oil. Here we go, go ahead and get a group of those and withdraw. The more of that that we can do down here, the better it's gonna be for us because then hopefully, hopefully we'll actually be able to start pushing down along these sides. We are sacrificing all of our territory, but by God damn it, am I gonna hold? Volunteers, yes, thank you, Vermilion Empire. Eight divisions, I will gladly take that. 
Yep, if we just keep on trapping them down here in the south as much as possible, that means we can slowly begin to wipe them out one by one. Excellent. All right, nope, nope, reform the line, stop attacking. We need you to withdraw. Just keep on using our tanks in our... God damn it, air superiority. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just keep on repeating the cycle over and over again. Eventually, you know, eventually, maybe, perhaps, someday, soon, hopefully, we will bleed them out. Even by sacrificing half of our country, it's still a very big amount. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the Entente. What the hell? This is huge. I'm going to be at this for a while, aren't I? There we go. There's a big gap. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Keep on crushing. Keep on going. Go, 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 go. Wipe as many of them out as we can. Excellent. Okay, send these back, and we're just going to keep on repeating the cycle again and again until we can eventually, hopefully, wipe out the enemy. And once that's done, okay, withdraw back, withdraw back. Do not let them take you out. We need to move as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh my god, we have wiped out so many. Are you freaking kidding me? And there's still so many that we have to kill. Oh god, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are attacking from the north. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Okay, we managed to push them back at least a little bit, but it's still, still looking a little dicey for me here. Oh my god, oil. Yes, please, give me oil. All right, there we go. Surround and destroy as long as we can maintain this border here. We should be able to sweep down through the south and cut off an even larger group of them. Okay, I didn't want to do this, but we have to go back to all adults serve. I'm running out of manpower again. This path is awful. <laughs> oh my God. All right, all right, we're broken through the south. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Just surround their units and destroy if we can knock out at least one of the enemies. Yes. Okay, Confederation of Lake Lumaire is done. All right, that's at least one of these guys here. Fine, finished. Okay, we're still running out of manpower, though. Not good. There we go. Just around groups of them. If we can just keep on breaking in through here, that'll be excellent. Because of that, that's another additional group. We just keep on needing to make these little pockets. Just make all these little pockets, keep on sweeping through, and I'm still running out of manpower. Okay, it's a little bit of a problem for me. As soon as we sweep through the south, that means they're taken. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. They no, they have no forces. They're all gathered here in the north. Okay, excellent. Here's what we're going to do then. Restructure yourselves down here and shift perspectives over on this side. Wonderful. I realize I wanted to launch push, but I, I actually can't here. I need, I need to wait and mobilize still. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and go for it. Let's push. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Wait, I have to stop. I have to stop. I know I could, I know I could actually take this territory, but I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that right now because I realized if I did, I don't have the manpower. Oh, okay. I can't run out. We got to actually stop. We got to stop. We got to stop and we're going to have to sit here for a while. Oh my God, I'm out of pony power. I'm out. I'm actually out. So nope, I just need to sit here for a while and slowly accumulate manpower, unfortunately. Actually, wait, no, I don't. No, I don't at all. If I sweep to the north, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. If I can take any of the northern territories, I forgot the way that the system works. If I could actually sweep in just through these little parts in here, go ahead and wipe out some of these. If I can take some of the cities. If I can seize control of the state, then that means I should be able to actually secure a decent amount of my manpower back. Okay, I finally managed to secure my manpower, but then also simultaneously I ended up waiting too long and now they've, they've seized large parts of the south. So I'm right back to square one. <sighs> Wait, did that say state of licks? No, you are not justifying on me right now. Of all the damn things, I now have to withdraw forces and move it over to this side. Great, great, great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you, game. Thank you for doing this to me. Genuinely now, the only thing that I can do is slowly advance in very annoyingly and try, just try to break through, cut off little bits of their units, and hopefully seize back some of my state in order to be able to gain manpower. That is, that is, those, those are my only options. I have to do this probably for the next hour or so, just continuously doing this. All right, there we go. There's another big group. Come on, just break through. Just break through. Don't let them in. No, 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 no. Don't let him in. There we go. Chad, no. Why? Why would you do this? State of Lake City. I'm literally at war on all sides now. Why would you do this? I hate you. I hate you so much right now. There we go. Come on. Come on. Just keep on holding out. Keep on holding out. But I hope to God that none of these people go and attack me because if they do, I am absolutely screwed. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. I need this manpower. Give it to me, please. We need it in order to recruit more soldiers onto the battlefield so that I can sacrifice more of my population. There we go. There we go. Come on. Another group. Another group. Keep on pushing in. Keep on pushing in. We need to take this population. And my line is starting to get stretched a little thin here. I don't, I don't really appreciate this. Okay. We're going to need a lot more divisions then though keep on spreading come on come on come on into the bronze hills into the bronze hills if we can push past this point we can at least capture some of these troops and push on in this way whoa okay hold up was not anticipating an actual attack they are oh crap they are launching an attack on me that's not good that's not good my line is getting spread way too thin they are actually pushing me back 
There we go. With more units out in the field, that means that we can now actually hold the line and push a little bit further. The more of them that we can wipe out here, the better, and it's going to actually give us back some of our manpower. Excellent. Okay, we're actually getting a decent amount here. Another 24 divisions. Does it seem excessive? Probably, but oh boy, do I need it here. Because we just need to surround and wipe out as many of these units as we can, and from that, seize the heartland and actually take back our territory. Oh my god, now they, okay, now they can actually launch strikes on me. That's not good. That's not good. We're probably going to get pushed back here some, along some of the line, unless I can go and reinforce some of these positions. All right, pour them along the front line. Send them in, send them in, send them in. Surround and cut off another group. Yes, yes, yes. Move on in, move it in. Use the tanks, use the tanks. I know at this point, I'm just basically saying mindless gibberish, but it doesn't matter. We are just trying to get as much combat done in here as we can because holy shit, it's still going. Here, let's go in, sweep in, use the tanks. Perfect, okay. If we can try and distract them through this, maybe, maybe we can go and create a massive pocket. Don't let them withdraw their forces. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh my God. That's the biggest encirclement we've had in here yet. Oh, I really wish. I really wish that I had checked to see how many was caught in all these respective pockets, but I don't care anymore. I don't. I don't care. We just need to try and remove as many of these people as we can. And what even are the losses? At, oh my God, I've lost 700,000. <laughs> I'm sacrificing so much of my population, but simultaneously, I, I have probably killed a good um 7 million. 10 to 1 losses. I think that's what I like to see. There we go. Even more wiped down. 10 beautiful. There we go. More groups around. I don't even think the AI can actually handle it at this point. We've managed to completely surround and cut off the majority of their armies that were down here in the middle. And yet still, somehow, they are just crapping out units. Go ahead. Yep, there we go. Move on in. And then as soon as that's done, honestly, at this point, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's just go. Let's just go push along the entire line. I don't think that they'll actually be able to hold us. I'm pretty sure that I have such fast divisions that if I can just quickly try and snake around, even if they have more numbers in some spots, I should actually be able to hold. Oh my God, my tanks move so fast. They move so fast. <laughs> Quick, we're taking their capital. We're taking everything. We're just rushing behind the line. They won't actually be able to hold. And beautiful. Okay, that's the Equalian Republic down. Everything to the south here now wiped, which means I should be able to just take everything. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Yes, the Gryphonian Empire grows. <laughs> Semi-modern light tanks are done. Beautiful. All right. All right. And that spreads out their troops along the entire line, which means, my friends, I think it's time. I think it's time. Let's go. Let's go, buddies. There's no stopping it now. As soon as we managed to break through, as soon as we had it, it was over. And that means we can start planning further towards the west. To the west lies many vitally important regions, such as Aquilia and Skyfall. These have long been the proper part of the empire, and as such, they will be reincorporated to the empire by any means necessary. I guess. Perfect. With that done, we have war goals against basically everything around here. Not that it matters. Oh my god, my stuff is getting raided to high hell. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. And oh, 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 we did it. The Graphonian Republic has fallen. I get to seize that. I get to seize the entire Navy. Boom. And the Graphonian Empire is done. Oh my God, the Solar Empire over on this side. Ho oh, ho, wow. You were dealing with quite a lot over there, buddy. Well, either way, I now have a war goal here against Skyfall. So I, uh, guess I might as well go ahead and use it then. A noose for the President Marshall. <laughs> President Marshal Kamarski is the original source of weakness that has consumed the Empire for so long. Time has come for, for criminal face punishment for his actions, and there's only one sentence. Death! Death! The sack of Skyfall! And goodbye to you, good sir. Goodbye. Oh, no, Lake City. Lake City, you are not pushing on me now. Uh-uh. That is not happening. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's that easy. It is that easy. The death of the President Marshal. As the remnants of the Gryphonian Republic are shattered under the mighty armies of the Lord Protector, it was almost inevitable that one of the most infamous Griffins of the continent would be captured. President Marshal Kamarski and his most loyal units, many of which fought in the initial revolution all those years ago, were finally tracked down to a small fortress deep in the mountains. What followed was a protracted battle that lasted for several days, as elite special forces from the Lord Protector's armies assaulted the redoubt, gradually wearing down the defenders, until only the ones that remained were Kamarski and his personal bodyguards. After the final confrontation in which Kamarski himself killed several of his assailants, he and his bodyguards were finally captured. The President Marshal was shoved into an armored truck, which then made its way to Griffenheim, alongside a convoy of armored escorts. Despite being ambushed several times by Republican guerrillas as they made their way through the former Republican territory, the convoy eventually managed to safely arrive at Griffenheim. A few days later, the former President Marshal, the Griffin who had brought a centuries-old empire to its knees, stood before the gallows in Griffenheim with his wings restrained and a rope around his neck. Lord Protector Ferdinand stood at the podium, 
only a few feet away, giving a speech to the residents of Griffenheim, announcing that the evils of republicanism would finally be banished from the empire. Moments later, the floor beneath Kermaski would give away, and the dream of a republican Griffonia was finished for good. Yes! With that being done, we finally have a cleansed land. We can core all of that. Oh, wait, hold on. I have no sense of supply over here. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. There's actually no supplies connecting any of these points. Okay, that's better. That's better. All right, now we can push. No wonder I was having so much difficulty. Oh, God, and my manpower is falling uh, even more. That's, that's not great. And with that, that is the fall of Lake City. Wonderful, all of you, gone, yoink. And with that, we can finally go after the home of Griffin Kind. <laughs> Oh, I get wars on everyone, I think. No. Oh, wait. No, I did not get on you. How about Griffin? Yeah, okay. I do get Griffin Stone. All right. Well, time to go after you. And we begin to consolidate our position with nothing but respect. The Reich will show nothing but respect to the denizens of the South. And as such, we will form local auxiliaries to supplement our units. This course of action will surely aid us in the wider process of integrating them. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. More non-core pony power. With that, that is the fall of Griffin Stone. That is done. And there we go. There is the Black Rock Bandit Queendom gone. Perfect. That is done. Seize, yoink, and goodbye. We, however, are still not done as we have the Barony of Rumere. Wait, where the hell is that actually? Oh my god, that's it. That's it. Really? Okay, well, this might be a little bit overkill, but alrighty then. Yep, 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 yep. Just push in, push in, push in, and they're gone. With the barony gone, we can now go ahead and seize that. Nothing but respect is finished, and what are we looking at next? Rebuilding Griffin Stone, and then after that, we have to go down here to claim the West. We are taking over everything, man. At the same time, we can uh, probably go down and reduce our conscription, just because I, I don't really need all that other stuff anymore. Wait a minute. Justification. Who? River Federation. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. You are not going to justify on me. No, 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 no. Griffinstone repaired. Celebrations were held in Griffinstone today, commemorating the completion of the Imperial Restoration Program, recently launched by the government at the behest of Ferdinand Donclaw. The birthplace of Griffin Kind had truly seen better days before its reconquest by the Empire, as years of neglect had reduced the venerable city to nothing more than a glorified town in the midst of collapsing. Well, no, we're going to completely rebuild it. It's going to be expensive, but screw it. We're making a Griffinstone. That's our capital. Fall of Canterlot. Wait, Stalingrad. Whoa. Oh my lord. What even happened? Solar Empire. What even happened? over here you were doing so well what happened daybreaker wait socialist equestria has completed the revolution it started oh oh they won stallion grad won and made the socialist republic of equestria what i haven't seen that happen before here actually whoa 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 i wasn't even looking river federate you really are gonna cl okay how dumb can you possibly be here i am the reich peacefully just um existing maybe it wasn't quite as peaceful as i thought it was considering everything that we've done but either way you're not gonna survive this they've called forbrook no no hey no 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 i don't like that you are calling things in the north that is not appreciated in my case i just need to overwhelm the north and beautiful it's a good thing we we're actually producing those tanks because now I can just sweep in here through the south and take everything, I think. Wait, no. No, 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 no. There's entities to the south of me. No, hold up. Here, go ahead and surround those. Okay, perfect. Now you, tank divisions, please come down here and save my butts. With the West being ours, now we can reclaim the frontier and take over everything further. The old frontier represents the farthest reaches of the empire, and it's time to reclaim it. Come on, uh, come on, come on. I know you're sacrificing lives in the south. It does not matter. It does not matter, okay? We are building up. You're taking more stuff in the north, and we will be okay. In fact, actually, hold on. Maneuverable warfare. What can I do this? Lone Sea Infantry Company. Ah. Uh, Oh, okay, hold on. There's certain things that I have to have research in order to get the next level of things. Am I sacrificing a lot? Oh my god, I've sacrificed one million. <laughs> I don't care at this point. I do not care. Oh my God. We have so many surrounded. Yes. Yes. They fall. Beautiful. The greatest threat to our glorious empire. Wiped out. Just like that. And now we have war goals against the Helco Republic. They can't stand. Helco, it's time to go. You're next. Goodbye. At this point, we are literally just cleaning up elements of the map. That's that's really all that it is. Yoink. You are gone. Goodbye. Next one on here. The uh, Griffiths so continent. Guess the, the, this thing. This, the, goodbye. You, you you need to be deleted just for that name alone. Aaron. Tigos reborn. The citizens of Erentigo have started to act strangely these past few weeks. It seems they become convinced themselves that the Lord Protector is Erentigos. Wait, who the hell is Erentigos? 
While normally such foolishness would be stamped out, the Lord Protector has, after giving serious thought to the idea, decided to embrace it as fact. As is there anyone who can deny that his conquests do not surpass those of Erentigos? Is that like Alexander the Great or something in this? Oh my god, that gives me 10% division attack? Are you kidding me? Ho 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 Oh, that's great. That's some good stuff, actually. Well, either way, let's uh, let's go ahead and begin this now, shall we? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're so fast. We just overwhelmed their entire front line. They can't stop us. Yep, goodbye, Griffiths something or the other. Next up on here, Kosakin clan. The Cossacks of the Griffin host have proved to be strange to the accepting of our authority, and such obedience is to be rewarded. We can allow them some autonomy in exchange for their service in our armies. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, create a puppet state. Let's do that. And in the meantime, we uh we, we finish things off here in the cell. Yep, goodbye. Oh my god, we just overran their entire front lines. Our units are so fast they can't be stopped. And there's Sikimian, uh, th th all them. Oh, uh, wait, no, I can't take all these. Wait, why can I not? Are they, oh no, don't tell me they're at war with someone else. Is that, really? That's all that I could do. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Damn it. Okay, well, that cleared all this out then here. All right, well, really? You still exist? That's okay, you know what? That that That's not gonna stand. That's not gonna stand at all. But, but before we go and finish off you, Asterion, it's time to uh to finish off friend, 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 Oh, God, don't look at me like that. Please, just, just please end. End. End everything. And goodbye. Goodbye. Done. Yoink. Goodbye. <laughs> the Griffonian Empire is now almost entirely whole, it seems. All right, with... Kosakin thing land done. Do I get to do something? Establish a base? No, I guess nothing. Oh, wait, no, there we go. That's uh, that's what it is, a Reich's Commiserate. All right, that's done, and I can establish a Stutenstadt. What, 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 what does that do? Where does that put it? Oh, down here? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now I can finish off Asterion. And as soon as that is done, Wingbardi Delantest. Ah, just like just like Carthago Delantest. Ah, Carthage is deleted. Wingbardi's. You know what? I really do appreciate the uh, the historical references that are put into all this. That is wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Goodbye, Minotaurs. And there goes Asterion. Wonderful. All of you. Done. Yoink. Everything conquered. Mine. <laughs> We've almost done it we have actually almost done it and now we integrate the frontier finally and with integrate the frontier done that means operation grover second wait no i've already conquered all of this other stuff i own literally all of this it doesn't matter the old empire was stopped from further expansion at the borders of the frontier with even the greatest conquerors being unable to subjugate the riverlands and the surrounding area if we can accomplish this herculean task we will finally have surpassed the old empire that's right with Operation Grover the Second, that means uh, Fir Tree Village. You're gonna die. And Dreadly, because you're. Oh wait, no. I either we or them are a detached county. What do you mean a detached county? How could I? What? Well, either way, I guess that uh, we're just gonna finish you off then. And next up on here, woe to the vanquished with the recent capture of the Prince Heavenly. Wait, no. With the recent capture of Prince Heavenly Snow, an opportunity to break the spirit of Lake City has presented itself. The Prince will be punished harshly for defying the Empire, and the ponies will be reminded of our strength. That's right. The end of a dynasty. Prince Heavenly Snow, a popular figure in Lake City and the descendant of Blessed Sword, has served as something of a symbol of resistance against our rule in Lake City, with many resistance members rallying to restore him to his rightful place as ruler of Lake City. The situation could not be tolerated any longer, so today Heavenly Snow was publicly executed in the middle of Jezzercrat. We will make it absolutely clear that any pony who dares resist our rightful rule over Lake City will receive the same fate, and that only by accepting their rightful place as vassals of the Empire can the ponies move on from their pathetic defeat. And if they are unable to learn this lesson themselves, we will simply force it upon them. Now to redistribute all the lands to the veterans of the war. And after distributing land to the veterans, it's finally time to establish the Reich's Commiserates. Managing the Riverlands is an extremely taxing endeavor, and it is proving to be more of a headache than it's worth. By allowing some measure of autonomy, we can at least throw this problem at some other griffin. That'll allow me to create a series of puppet states. And with the Reich's Commiserates, wait, government idea of the Grand Griffin Canal has been, oh. Ah, <laughs> ah, yes. We completely broke all of this territory apart into varying little puppets. How nice. How nice. The Griffonian Empire is finally complete, except for whatever reason, we can't actually go after and do anything against the Dread League for some reason. Uh, but that, my friends, is the end. We've done it. We've actually completed it. I wish there was some kind of event or something here at the end, I guess, but I don't, I guess nothing has happened. Maybe if I complete Economic Miracle, maybe something like that will happen. Nope. That is the uh, Imperial Economic Miracle that is done. I get no other events meaning I just wasted my time here at the end for like another 20 minutes trying to get this complete. Okay, well, that is the Griffonian Empire, my friends. That, in the end, is what happens when you go down the path of Ferdinand.
Ferdinand Donclaw. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, over the course of this, I, I, I didn't think that at multiple points that I was actually going to be able to win that. There were multiple points here where everything could have been lost, like in the case of when Aquilia and the Republic attacked at the same time. But really, if you just hunker down and hold up in your little spot, as you have to do repeatedly in this campaign, it's possible. It takes a long time, but it is actually possible to do. And my God, was that, that was incredibly fun to actually play. Extremely challenging, but extremely fun and way worth it in comparison to most things. Because you think once you've actually beaten the main enemies, that it's over, that it's done, that you're not going to have anything to do. And then lo and behold, you go up against something like the Riverlands. And even that takes a little bit of time because by the time that you get to that point, they've consolidated and built up a massive en uh, empire. So you keep on having bigger and bigger enemies to fight until eventually once you take over the rest of the continent, there's nothing to do unless we then decided to go and navally invade Stalingrad over here. But that's besides the point. That's not really going to happen here. My friends, this is easily one of the most fun campaigns, hardest, but one of the most fun campaigns I think that I've played in this game, and I highly recommend it. Thank you to the individual that suggested that I do this for the last 64 days. I really appreciate all of you. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what it is that you'd like to see us do next. Thank you very much, my friends, and goodbye. I, in the end, I do not know how it is that I could suggest this mod more. It is easily one of the best written, most complex, most interesting mods that is in this entire game that just leaves more and more and more content for you to be able to play. I highly recommend it, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day and try it out for yourself. Goodbye, my friends, and I will see you next time.